lossiness of a capacitor is always greater than of a transformer in general terms. If we have a decent quality of a core in a transformer, then the core losses are usually much smaller than the losses due to the dielectric absorption of a capacitor. Capacitor tends to remove most of the time some sort of musical information. It is degrading the music in two aspects. Uh, first is the transparency. No matter how good the dielectric is of the capacitor, it still removes the harmonics to a very high degree. When we have a transformer, yes, we have some core losses, even in the lowest grade ones, but we're talking about grain-oriented ones. The losses are significantly less. They remove also much less of uh, low-level musical information. The other aspect is the dynamics. Every capacitor always requires, because it's a signal capacitor, it requires something to load the tube. And a tube is either inductively loaded or is resistively loaded. Resistive loading of a tube, that is the least costly option, always comes at the cost of loss of energy and dynamics. Using a resistor just dissipates energy into heat, where an inductive for example, an inductive loading. It preserves better the energy and you have much lesser losses. So a capacitor cannot work on its own. It always requires some sort of load. You have always uh, mu much more losses in, in the dynamics and the distortion goes up. So a capacitor RC type of decoupling, so a resistor capacitive, produces the worst type of results in terms of performance, but it is the least costly way of taking the signal from, from a vacuum tube, if you go the other extreme. So, going performance, but at higher cost, would be the transformer decoupled signal output. That is the device that some people can call, or are calling, a virtual and invisible device, because it offers two functions. It can load and decouple, galvanically decouple the signal from one stage to another. So, inductive coupling has a more dynamic energy preserving property. The transformer, signal transformer way of decoupling the signal is so much superior in quality because the losses in terms of, uh, of harmonics, in terms of dynamics, are significantly less than if one goes to capacitor or capacitive way of decoupling the, the signal. We have a huge difference relatively in terms of cost. The transformer is bulkier, heavier, uh, high quality cores that cause the minimum amount of losses are expensive. So the cost goes up, but the performance goes up. Capacitor is low, plentiful, low cost, but the performance is significantly lower as well. In our all higher performance level products, we use even more transformers. So where we can substitute a capacitor with a transformer, we do so. Our monopower amplifiers, all in the higher performance level, have interstage transformers. We eliminate capacitors between the driver and the output stage. That's where it makes the most sense, because usually driver is very high load, high current ones. When you have high current, Resistor capacitor is your worst choice. So in all everything that is a higher performance, we try to eliminate capacitor as much as we can to increase the dynamics, to increase the transparency, and the distortion also goes down. We are looking to optimize and improve the highest potential when we reproduce music.